good morning and welcome back to the next video on theory of computation in this video we are going to learn how to convert uh, nfa to an equivalent efa for that we will consider the given example here we have to design a efa equivalent to the given nfa so the nfa is represented by this transition diagram so the first step to convert an nfa to dfa is to obtain the transition table for the uh, NFA if it is given in form of a uh, transition diagram. So we convert this transition diagram to a uh, transition table. So this table represents the present state input and in this column it represents the next state. So the initial state of the NFA is Q0 and in Q0 if A is the input so the next state can be Q0 or Q1 as there are two transition on A. So on Q0 if I get A as input the state may transit to Q0 or it may transit to Q1. So in Q0 if A is the input the automata may change state either to Q0 or to Q1. So this is represented by a set in transition table. In Q0 if B is the input in Q0, if B is the input, the next state is Q2. So it is represented like this in the transition table. In Q0, if B is the input, the next state is Q2. Similarly, for state Q1, in Q1, if A is the input, the transition is to Q0. So we add simple like this. And in Q1, if B is the input, the transition is to Q1 only. So the next state for here is Q1. Q1 on B goes to Q1. Q2 which is the final state so this is represented as star in case of uh, transition table or it can be marked as if within a circle in the transition diagram to represent as a final state. So in Q2 if input is A so here there is no transition so we add 5 on input A so in Q2 if A is the input there is no next state so this is a dead configuration. Whereas in Q2, if B is the input, so in Q2, if B is the input, the transition can be to Q1 or Q0. Right? There are two transitions on B. So this will be written as a set. Again, in Q2, if B is the input, the next state will be either Q0 or Q1. So it is represented as set. Now, this transition table can be used to convert the NFA into an equivalent DFA. Again, we'll obtain a transition table for the DFA. So let us start. So the initial state of the equivalent DFA will be the initial state of the NFA. So here the initial state is Q0. So in the equivalent DFA, the initial state will again be Q0 only. But uh, the merger of states will be represented within square brackets. So anything which is written in square bracket in the DFA transition table will be considered as a single state. So Q0 will be initial state and the transition for this state will be obtained from the NFA table. So Q0 on A will produce a new state over here and that state will be obtained from this table. Right. So Q0 on A goes to either Q0 or Q1 but in case of DFA the transition is to only a single state every time. In case of NFA that is multiple choice but in case of DFA the transition should be to a single state. So what we can do we have to merge this two state to form a single state. So we'll merge this two state into a single state as Q0, Q1. So we write this two state into a square bracket as q0 comma q1 this represents that these two are a single state right so q0 on a goes to a new state q0 q1 and q0 on b goes to the next state which is obtained again from this transition table so q0 on b goes to a single state q2 so we simply copy this over here in square bracket now the next state in this dfa will be not will not be the next state of the nfa but it would be the next state which is obtained over here right so this q0 q1 is the new state now this will be written in the present state column like this and the transition from this 
for this particular state will again be obtained from the NFA table. So this is combination of Q0 and Q1. So we need to consider the transition in the NFA table for both Q0 and Q1. So Q0 on A goes to Q0, Q1 and Q1 on B on A goes to Q0. So we need to consider union of these two. Right. So in Q0, Q1, if A is the input, the output state will be union of Q0, Q1 and Q0. That is nothing but a new state which is formed by union of these two, which is nothing but Q0, Q1. So the next state will be Q0, Q1. Similarly, from Q0 on getting B, the transition is to Q2 and in Q1 on getting B, the transition is to Q1 only. So in case of DFA, we will consider union of these two states. So Q1 union Q2 will produce a new state Q1 Q2. Right, so this will be the next state. Now, the next state of the DFA will be the next new state which is obtained over here. So we have considered this state. So the next is Q2. So we will add Q2 into the present state column. Again, for transition, we will go to the NFA table and Q2 on A goes to 5. But we have seen that a DFA uh, cannot have phi, it need to show a transition to dead state. So we add a dead state over here as QD. Right. And Q2 on B goes to Q0, Q1. So we need to again merge this state to form a new state as Q0, Q1, which is already there. Right. Now the next state of this DFA will be the new state which is obtained. So the new state is Q0, Q1, but we have already added it in the present state column. So we move to the next. The next state which is obtained over here is Q1, Q2, right? So this Q1, Q2 is not present in the present state column. So we'll add it over there as Q1, Q2, a single state. And now this Q1, Q2 on A goes to a new state which will be again obtained from the NFA table. So Q1 on A goes to Q0 and Q2 on A goes to 5, right? So we need to uh, make union of these two states to form the next state. So Q0 union 5 will be Q0. So Q0, Q1, Q2 on A goes to Q0. Whereas Q1 on B goes to Q1 and Q2 on B goes to either Q0 or Q1. So when we consider union of these two, the next state or the new state which will be formed is Q0, Q1, right? The next state in this DFA will be now QD. Uh, so we will consider QD later. Uh, the next state Q0, Q1 is already added. Then Q0, it is again already added. Then Q0, Q1, this is also added. So the only left state is QD. So we will add QD over here. And QD, as you know that we are representing QD as a dead state. So a dead state on any input goes to the dead state only. So we'll make a transition from QD on A to QD and from QD on B to QD. So this will represent a dead state. Right. Now uh, we have added all the uh, states which are present in the next uh, state column into the present state column. Now no new state can be added to the DFA. So we'll stop over here for transitions, right? So these are the number of states that will be there in the equivalent DFA for the given NFA. Now uh, we have already seen how to represent the initial state, but the final state in case of this uh, DFA will be the all the state which consists of the final state of the given NFA. So here in this NFA, Q2 is the final state. So all the state that are formed with Q2 will be considered as final state. So here Q2 and Q1, Q2 are two states that are formed by considering Q2 as one of the states. So these two states will be marked as final state in this DFA. Right. Now this DFA or the transition table can be converted to uh, another transition table just by representing this state by new name. S P Q R S T and then replacing this by uh, this P Q R S T in the next next state column also. So if we represent Q0 by P, Q0, Q1 by Q and Q2 by R, Q1, Q2 by S and QD by T. So this can be obtained like this which is same and now this can be represented in a transition diagram form. So Q0, 
P is the initial state. Right? P on A goes to Q and P on B goes to R, which is a final state. Right? Then Q on A goes to Q, so I add a transition, and Q on B goes to S, so I add a transition. And S is again a final state, so there is a final state. Then R on A goes to T, so I add a transition, and R on B goes to Q. Right? S on A goes to P, and S on B goes to Q. Right? And T on A goes to T, and T on B also goes to T, which is a dead state. So this is the DFA equivalent to the given NFA. So here you can find that on any state and input combination the next state is always fixed right similarly for every state there is a transition for all the inputs right so this is an equivalent dsa in the next class we are going to consider another example on conversion of an nfa to equivalent dfa thank you